second weekend of school holidays five knots probably about a thousand trailers or a thousand boats here we go out on the great um, R&R with red part of the namesake and uh, we're just two up today but as you can see it's very very light and uh, showed you the cockpit before and then here's the main setup so these are the halyards for both the jib and the main on this side and then over here we've got uh, well maybe it's uh, the halyard here for the spinnaker you'll see that when we go out around a few of the islands That's uh, Roslyn Bay, and uh, we're heading out to an island called Slope, it's uh, about like, eight miles, something like that. Our first tank, going all right. So the forecast for today is uh, pretty light breezes, like uh, we're going to get a four knot northerly, northeasterly, and uh, at the moment we've, we've just got that. Bit of a beat out all the way out here to slope and then uh, spinning a run home. So, at the moment we're tracking along okay. Looks like the breeze is starting to fill in or firm in from the north, so the forecast is looking pretty good. Well, there we go. We've been around uh, sloping. There's a little bit, a um, little bit of action going around there, so we didn't get to film at all. Only the, only the two of us on board. Look at that. <laughs> Look, it even matches us. Yeah. Got the, got the bloody spinnaker up. No trouble at all. And we put a split between the fleet. We're going on a, what's called a starboard pole there. So it's out on the starboard side. And our opposition, that are like monster big boats, they got their uh, pole out on the left hand side, which we call the port side. I've got red when I don't have to trim the bloody spinnaker and you can just sail to it it's gentleman sailing just sail to the spinnaker not trim it all the time just so much easier look at that what a day out how's that ed how's your boat looking she's a flyer so this is um this here is rose famous egg and bacon pie that's our lunch for today. There you go. 50 years old. We've got a couple of minutes before we jibe it. I was just talking to Red, the uh, Red Witch 19. She's 50 years old. <laughs> oh, there we go. You now can tell that the uh, pole's out to the left, or the port side, and uh, we're heading down to Iron Pie. We've got a beautiful angle. So if we just keep this up, I think Fat we'll be lady. okay. Yeah, yeah. Fat lady hasn't sung yet. Fat lady and tip your bowler. <laughs> there you go, Ed. Look, no hands. That leading edge just curling ever so slightly. That's how you trim a, that's how you trim a spinnaker with two on board. Bloody skipper steers to it. That's why you have bloody someone that's been doing it for, oh, how many years you been going around, Red? Uh, I'm, I'm on my way out. Oh, right. I've been so you, at it for 40 years. 40 years. So, 40 you, years, yeah. so you're, you're counting down the years now, not counting them up. <laughs> <laughs>
coming up to another mark of the course. This is called uh, Iron Pot. And uh, we're gonna drop the kite before we go around that. So we dropped the kite down around Iron Pot. Couldn't film that, so uh, just gonna have to take my word for it that the uh, spinning is down. Oh, in the uh, in the cabin there. And uh, unfortunately, the bag caught the wind and ripped off. So uh, yeah, we don't have a bag for the spinnaker now, but Red says it's as old as me. So uh, I don't know. It looked a little colored. Oh. <laughs> anyway, we're coming up to the finish line. And uh, well, there's a few people up there having a good, a good look off uh, the lookout of Iron Pot. Oh no, that's double head. Double head. And then uh, between where the rock wall is, the groin wall for the um, for the harbour, between that little hole there and a big aerial sticking off the coast guard, something around there. That's our finish line. Coming up to the finish. That's good. So this morning we're uh, pulling the boat out of the water. We had a great day yesterday, good sail as you saw, and uh, we won the race on handicap. 